Hey guys, it's a new day and that means a new beer, of course. What do we have today? A beer from France. Brasserie du Baron. And it's called Cuvée de Jonquille. I hope uh, I pronounced that right. But I think it's uh, pronounced that way. So it's from the northern part of France, Gulinien or something like this. Gulinie something, yeah. Gusigny, Gusigny. It's uh, the northern part of France, France. And the beer has 7% ABV. Style, wild, style wise, uh, it's called Bière de Garde. Bière de Garde, and actually it means like farmhouse ale, saison, that type of beer. They have multiple names for that. So Bière de Garde, saison beer. What is quite different about the saison? All saisons do use a more working yeast. So the yeast eats more of the rest sugars and therefore the beer will be much drier. Also, people, many people think they, there are spices in there or there are extra uh, like different things in there. But mostly that's because of the yeast that is eating more of the rest sugars and it keeps on going, you know, in the bottle. It's, it's fermenting all, like almost all the time. How did it start? The word saison. And that's a very special story. I don't know if it is 100% true. But I heard like saison, it means season. So when the farmers and all the workers were at the farm and it was like spring and it was summer, there was much work to do and all the grains and all the the fruits they and, and the vegetables they grow then they could sell it and uh, there was income and the, everything was was really good but then when it becomes colder the landlord who owns all of the land will cut on his uh, on the workers and they may make with the rest of the grain, they will brew a beer for the year after when spring and summer is there again, to give some bottles every day to the workers to pay them because they also got got a roof above their heads. That's that was the way back in the days. It's it's it was all, all happening because like. For example, this brasserie, it's like monasteries, you know, like like uh, all the monks who brew and be self-sustaining, because that's really important for these 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 people. So they make clothes, they make cheese, they brew beer to be self-sustaining, and that was a little bit of story about the saison too. Long time ago, like I said, I don't know if it's hundred percent sure. But I can imagine it would it, it would be like that with the rest they had from all the you, you can see it here like the oats and, and, and the grain and, and the wheat that was going on the hops yeah they're all doing it mostly themselves or from close in the neighborhood like I like I think this will be also like ingredients from close near nearby okay let's try this i'm for, i'm going to say i'm not a fan of france be uh, beer from france but i will give it a try of course it doesn't get a very high rating but it's like an above average rating this one gets and it's uh, also a 75 cent liter bottle a big bottle like you can see and again we have to get this one open <laughs> i hope it is easy but sometimes it's really 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 hard you'll see oh it's easy again yeah 
here we go. Smoke smokey. <laughs> so farm haze, farmhouse ale from Gusigny, north of France. Let's get it in a glass and let's check it out. I will do it in front of the can. Mostly the color will go from yellow to orangey red, but that's always different. But it won't be uh, like a brown one or something like that because the yeast eats, eats more than other yeasts. So what I'm, I'm expecting, like I told you, because there are no rest sugars, it will be always dry. That you can get immediately from that type of like farmhouse ale style, Bière de Garde, Saison, different names for that. So let's try it. The, f the foam on the head, the head, like it, <laughs> they just call it, of course, uh, the head is this is like not micro bubbles. It's not compact. It's it's like more bigger bubbles. And for me, that's also like if it's micro bubbles and it stays a longer time, I. I experienced the beer will be also better tasting and fuller, fuller tasting, like better, in, be, yeah, just better. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna get the nose. Yeah, typical farmhouse style saison. You get the dryness, you get some fruits, the hops are in there. Uh, also, this one does smell like. Like a farm, you know, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's a, a really natural thing going on. It's spicy on the nose also, although there are not really spices in there most of the time. Some do add different ingredients to their saisons, but uh, yeah, we're going to try it. Smooth, refreshing. You get citrusy, lemony notes. Like because this is a great beer to drink in in spring or summertime, because it's so refreshing. It's so smooth. It's it's make you it makes you happy when it's really warm out there. Also, it is dry because this all this one is also dry. You still enjoy these beers, you know because always most of the time well made this one is a little bit less than the ones i had before because i had many saisons before like bière de garde styles but this one yeah not too bad actually for one of the better france beers i had before because yeah like i said i'm not really a, a guy who loves France, beers, beers from France. But there are some great ones. Not much, but there are some great ones. And then when we talk about the craft breweries, craft breweries, of course, in France, there are some quite lovely breweries in France, in the craft beer scene. But uh, I can't remember the names. I will do a review of them maybe i can buy like two of two of three and do it in one session here in one day all to talk about all the beers and just tasting them and talk talking about uh, them a little and about the brewery of course but no overall like i told you it's it's fruity it's refreshing it's dry it's not really complex but you can get a thing with the yeast that is there's no sweetness in this at all so yeah it tastes floral it's yeah like when you're walking when you're walking in the woods or you are at a farm you get these things so 
in the nose also a little otherwise really well made a little bit malty but not really sweet malts or something like this a hoppy this one is quite hoppy actually they you can get it immediately they don't use the hop pellets but the hop flowers because the floral grassy thing slight earthy thing is also happening like with the saison many people say oh it smells like a wet dog that's typical like 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 socks the the uh, strange things going on with the saison because the yeast just eats more than it than it has to eat actually with other yeast types and therefore there is just a more spicy thing going on a more floral thing grassy those types of notes you get more okay so i'm gonna round up uh tomorrow i will see what i can tomorrow will be an ipa i guess maybe two i say other half and you got to check it out of course because other half isn't really normal <laughs> when it comes to comes to ipas uh like here in belgium our ipas are not that good we're far behind the, just the styles the really fruity juice bombs we we don't like in belgium i have i like it but most most of the other people who aren't into craft beers and tasting a lot of beers like i am those guys just won't like it because it's really bitter most of the time not all the time with the naipa styles new england type that is but most of the time it is quite bitter and the fruit yeah they they maybe they expect to drink like orange juice or something but it's not quite orange juice of course no any uh, anyway this was a rather nice beer i would give it six and a half to ten that's really a good score i think for this one it's rather well made it's i have i have nothing to complain one of the better beers beers from france and i think it was like only in belgium like five or six euros for this bottle i think something something like that it was not expensive at all so if you can find it somewhere cuvée de jonqui you have to try it don't expect too much but like five or six euros for a big bottle then you can enjoy your evening you better drink it when it's a more sunny day like a warmer day and not when it's colder because all these beers, like a Pilsner or a Saison, like a wheat beer, you want to drink when it's hotter outside because it's so refreshing. So, okay, guys, till tomorrow, and don't forget a beer a day keeps the doctor away. Cheers, bye.